Okay, so um, what you want to get started on, because I have Xcode here, uh, we have instruments, you know, it's just some tool to actually profile your app when you're actually done, you want to find some memory leaks or, you know, um, bottlenecks in your, um, in your apps. You know, when it's running slow, you want to see, you can go in there. And I have the iOS simulator, which basically, you know, you can run your apps right there, so which we're going to test. So um, if I just click here, we'll actually have the premium app already here. So if, we, if we're just going new uh, project, I'm just going to make an app here. Oh, don't worry, uh, Xcode is free on the App Store, because you know, all the Mac users have it. It's free. Um, so in here, you're presented with um, different uh, different choices here. So if you, you know, you can do a tab application, you can just, I think, on uh, music. If you guys here have your iPod Touch, you know, you can see your music there, or your know, iPhone. So there's different uh, templates here. Uh, empty application uh, would, would not be the great place to start for, I guess, for today, because there's going to be a lot of missing stuff, and you need to configure several files, not too much, but um, single view would be a great start, so I'll pick that. And then I'll just type the uh, product name, so like basic calculator. Uh, there we go. Um, so this class prefix, you'll see it when I actually do it. Uh, storyboards is actually new for iOS 5, so for iOS 5, and then you know they have integrated to iOS 6. Basically, makes it easier to make your um, your you know your apps, you know how it flows, and you know when you press a button or here and there, it would go here and there. So you could map it, map it to. Uh, uh, they call this arc right here, uh, automatic reference counting, which means you know it would pretty much take care of your um, you know memory allocation, so you don't need to do all what they call risky release. It's like balancing it is. It's confusing, but this helps really a lot. So that's why you know I went to start ahead on you know doing iOS development. So in here, uh, you can choose um, which uh, device you want to develop for. You have iPad, you have iPhone, you have Universal. So I'll just choose iPhone for this time. So it just ask me to uh, save it if I could you know just save it on the desktop. Here is just a uh, source control. So if you guys used um, Git or um, uh, um, what do you call it, subversion, you could just map, map it here if you wanted to. So I'll just create it here. Okay, so here it's kind of pretty tight here, but um, you have on the side it's just pretty much here your <coughs> objects here. Uh, this will change because this is just running in general. If I open up a storyboard, you'll see that it actually. Uh, it will change to the tools that you actually see on, you know, on a normal iPhone app or something. So, um, so the, the, this is pretty important when you edit, um, let's say, labels or text boxes or you know all the buttons and all that. Uh, this one just tells you any information you know about the uh, about the program. So I can hide it here. Just click right here. I'm gonna hide it on the side, and then you pretty much have your run uh, the scheme. You know which device you want to run it to. Um, you also have the breakpoints. You know you can set up breakpoints. Uh, I have these editors. I'll show it to you later on when I actually do the, um, the, the mapping of the event handlers as uh, what Samir talked about. Okay, and um, you just, have, these are just basically hiding it. So I have the debug on the bottom here. I have the debug stuff here. So that's it. And um, if I go here on the side, this is gonna be your kind of like your file navigator pretty much. Um, so I have, I have the main app here, the executable file. Uh, frameworks here, you know, if you guys, we're, we're gonna do as later on in the courses, um, on the lectures, we're gonna add, you know, like kit, you know, for maps and you know all all the other APIs that Apple implements here. And um, you also have uh, supporting files um, here. Uh, there's these things called app delegates. So I'll show you code right here. Um, these uh, these methods they're actually documented, so you can read it, you know, when you have your uh, you have your time. But basically, these are what basically allows you for you to manage. Let's say you wanna um, do a let's say like a mail update or something like like your let's say you have a mail app. And then from every five minutes, you want to you know, fetch something from the server, and then you know you get it back. These these where you handle your um, your uh, your actions in here. Okay. So um, for now, we're not going to deal with it. So it's okay. Um, here, so it, so I'm telling you again, it, it looks weird. Uh, I'll go through I'll go through this as I make the app itself. Okay. So again, as I told you, the BC for the class prefect, it just adds it here. You know, doesn't really matter. You can remove it. It's optional. Uh, okay. So uh, as I told you, you have the storyboard here. Okay, uh, it's pretty tight. So here you go. Um, you have the storyboard. So this is basically uh, size for the iPad. I mean the iPhone 5. So I'm just going to resize it down, which is right here. And um, so I guess we're going to start with um, with the file here. I'm going to start with the model first. So because we're going to build a calculator app, and then you can take um, you can take two numbers, and then you can pick your operations, and then basically if you apply the operation, you're just going to get the result. That's pretty much it. So um, I'm just going to make the model. So we're going to call this uh, BC expression, okay? 
and it's a class of NS object. NS objects is just pretty much like on Java. You know, it's just like your root class, your family root class kind of pretty much. So that's what it is. So you can just leave that. You could, you know, you could make other choices here. But for this time, for the model, it just needs to be this. And again, we're just gonna save it on net. Okay. So okay, here, um, pretty much, uh, there's two uh, two parts on the file. There's actually what we call the um, if we go here first, okay, the interface, which basically allows you to declare your variables, instance variables, and all that. That allows for other uh, classes to access access your files. I mean your uh, your variables. Sorry. So uh, you can add more uh, import statements here if you need any more uh, um, files from you know from your own file. And so I'm gonna start off with creating some of the um, what do you call this? The some of the instance variables. So I'm gonna use this called property. Um, this this syntax here would what it basically means, um, non-atomic, first of all, uh, this, this is just about multi-threading, so we don't really care about you know multi-threading right now. So that I'm gonna leave into that. A strong is basically kind of like your default for, uh, let's say, uh, it's, a, it's a type, this, this goes with back to the memory allocation idea that um, strong pointer basically means you just hold a strong pointer to it and you're just basically holding to it as long as you don't, uh, basically the art will take care of it. I don't want to go too much detail with the memory allocation, so I'll leave it for that. But you could specify more uh, more specifications here on the on the on the parentheses in the middle. So, but back to the program. So I'll make uh, what do you call this? Uh, NS integer. So NS integer, as you can see here, it pops out right here. It gives you this means type def. So if you know uh, what type def in like C is, that basically means just you know just another name for something. So I'm guessing that could be an integer. It's just you know normal integer in you know in C. It's just name NS integer. So uh, so that's that, and I'll name it a uh, first number right here, and then I'll do another one. Right. So I just actually caught that because it's actually telling me on the side here. That there's actually a, a warning here, so I can leave it into that. Um, and then here I could just do a second number here, uh, and then I'll make another one. Um, so this one is an object pointer because in uh, Objective C we're working with pointers, not with just like normal, you know, like your normal character array or something like. That. It's basically just pointers. So you'll need that star sign, you know, every time. So I'm gonna make a. This is what they call NS string. So it's just basically your string, but just object oriented. Um, we'll call it a, a, a operation. So basically, this is what will hold your operation later on. So that's that for the interface. So basically, everyone can have access to it. Okay, and then. I'm gonna go to the expression right here. I'm just gonna open the other one right here. So this is your implementation of where you implement it. The properties allows you, um, I don't know if you guys know accessor method. So basically if you do, uh, uh, if, you, if you go back here, um, if you do let's say uh, get, uh, so basically first number get gives you the number. It's basically methods that are pre-created for you if you need it. Uh, I'm not going to use it, but I'll show you later on, on like the syntax, you're not gonna see it right away, but it's hard to explain, but I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you later on as the uh, program pro uh, progresses. So what I'll do is I'll, well, um, I'll do a synthesize. So it makes these accessor methods I was just talking about. Um, could, uh, just go back here, so first number, uh, second number. I'm just calling those the ones that are in the .h of the header files. Um, so, and then we have expression right here. Or operation rather. Thank you. Okay, operation. There you go. So um, also, I'm gonna I'm gonna make another method. So this is your model, right? So I want to do all my calculations here. So if I want to do my calculations here, I'm gonna make this method. This means this dash right here means it's an instance method. So what it does is basically you need the object that you created with. So basically, if I create a BC expression object, right? It's right here. I can only apply instance methods to it. There's also class methods which are represented by a plus sign. You can call it with the name BC expression. So we'll not see that today, but those are the differences between the two, the plus and the minus, and there's a big difference there. So um, if I go here, and then I'll specify the return value, void, right? It's just a void value. And then uh, I'll call it uh, calculate expression. Doesn't take anything because we're gonna use these right here to, um, to, to perform the calculations later on, okay? So we're gonna go back to, um, so basically I'm just declaring it so everyone can, ha can have access to it when they actually use the, um, yeah. 
sorry, a method file, um, that would be just go um, new and file. And then if you, and then if you do Objective C class, you'll see it will create the .h, which is the, which is the header file, and .m, which is what they call the implementation file, which is what I'm doing on my implementation app. Yeah. Okay. So, which is right here, uh, DC expression .m, and I'm going to define the function again. So I'm just doing the method signature they call it. So I'm just going to do a calculate uh, expression right here. So it gives you it gives me right there, and I'll actually implement this later on. Uh, when you actually get into the, uh, to the, after the design part. So, if I go back here, so 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 I, I, it's a lot of going back and forth on the file. So you'll see it. Uh, you'll see how I transition through it. Okay. So basically, uh, this this side right here, this pane, is just a breakdown of what's in here, which is what they call the view. This is your view right here, and this arrow just means okay, I'm gonna start here. So when you run the program, it just starts here, pretty much. Okay. So I'm just gonna hide it here. Um, as you can see here, uh, okay, let's see here. Okay, so here are your um, your objects right here. Your you know what you see basically on like an iPhone app. You have your these are more like the controllers, the different types of controllers here. Um, you have your basic stuff right here, which we'll do right now. So I can just drag um, what do you call this? Uh, this is your first number, this or yeah. So this is just a label. I just double clicked it and I just type you know my calculator. Or something. And then you see they have these guidelines right here, which allows you to align it. And if you just go, this is a text field, so that's where I can type my stuff, right? So I'm just gonna drag it here. You know, I could align it in accordance with that, so it gives me a better size looking here. So that's that, okay? So that's the first number where I type the first number right here. And um, if I drag buttons here, so this is a round, round rec button. You can use the search bar here at the bottom if you need to. So, you know, to type, you know, a button or something, it will pop up right there, okay? So, this is the round rack button, so I'm just going to drag, like, four of these. So, I'm, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do copy and paste. Okay. Uh, so, for all, like, for all the four operations, you know, plus, minus, and divide, all that. I'm just going to resize it like this. Or actually resize it. So, I just double click it. It would allow you to edit the, um, what's this content here. So, I'm just going to type plus. And here, I'm just going to type minus. So times divide. I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. Okay, I think that's great. Um, so it might look confusing a bit, but I'm just gonna put the buttons right here. And then after that, I'm just gonna drag another text field, or actually rather, I'm just gonna do select this. I'm gonna just copy it and then paste that again. So it just, just pops over here. And then, you know, um, for fun, we could just make a text field right here. And this is where I'm gonna put my result, but I'm gonna, you're gonna see the trick right here. And then I'm gonna put a button right here, the last button to actually calculate it. Okay. Um, okay, so we have the two text fields. So basically, if I, I'm just gonna slide this down a bit. So you can see I have two text fields here. And then if I, if you watch this part, and if I change it, it's gonna change to you know the round rack. Basically, you know you can define all the you know like the font, text color. So basically, the properties of each of the objects. So here, um, what I want to do, because I don't want the user to actually type, you know, just like gibberish, you know, letters, because I cannot calculate letters or you know, anything like that, right? So I'll go down here. Uh, as you can see, there's actually capitalization. So what do you want to do when they actually press it? Do you want to capitalize by default and all that? So as you can see, there's keyboard here. I'm just going to select number pad. It's all just numbers. That's it. So it's going to do it for both of these. Um, so okay, it's a number here on the pad. And then here, uh, for this one, this is another text field. So why, why are you thinking why I'm going to put a text field? Just put a label, right? You know, just to make it for fun, um, what I'll do here is, as you can see, in the control area right here, I just selected it. It says I'll do it again, so right there. 
it says enable, it's gonna disable it. So basically they cannot type it in. And I could uh, put a placeholder text, so you know, go your result. And just see it pop out right there, right? So that's what I'm just saying right now. So that's that. Um, here, um, this class, as you can see, if I go here on one of these, I think it's identifier inspector. There's a file already made for us. It's called the BC view control. That's when you do like a single view um, creation. When you choose that option, you'll see that already. You'll have it there. It's mapped already here. So, so this whole thing has the controller corresponding to that name uh, BC view controller. So that's that. That's what this means. Okay. Um, you can make your own, you know, ver uh, view controllers later on as we progress. We're going to see we're going to change this here and there. So, uh, so that's that. And as you can see, I'll start mapping things here. So this is uh, what we, uh, what Samir uh, mentioned about, you know, mapping. You know, when you press a button, you want to do something. So we're going to make actions and outlets. So we'll start with, um, with, uh, I guess, outlets first. So here, I'm just going to hide here. Um, so I just click this and I press the, uh, I believe this is the assistant editor. So basically, whatever course, what, whatever file corresponds to this view controller, I just use it here. So that's that. So that's the, again, the, um, the header file. Uh, I'm just gonna go here. That's more neat. This this uh, interface implementation asks, well, well, why am I doing this? Uh, I'm gonna do it over here because I don't want the other classes to interact with the outlets that are present on this, like, you know, like this, the, the text field or the buttons. So I'm just gonna put it here. So basically it, basically it kind of like hides it from you know, the rest of the world kind of idea. That's that. So uh, I'm just gonna put it here, okay? So as you can see, I'm just gonna do a control. This is what you call um, the outlets. So basically I have, so basically I can access, you know, if I, if I do this, I'm gonna do a control here, right? So you see insert action outlet and all that stuff. So if I drag it here, it pops out. It says, you know, whatever name I want. I type, it's a text field, so UI text field. It always starts with a UI. So it comes from the UI kit, they call it. So that's that. So I'll call it a first uh, number text field. And it's just weak, you know, this is about the storage. So usually uh, outlets are weak and delegations. We're gonna go with that later on. So that's uh, that's for the first uh, first number text field. It's gonna connect it, pops out right here. So I'm just gonna expand it here. You can see it. So it's pretty much the same uh, properties that I did for the model. That, that's pretty much you know, what it looks like. And I'm just gonna do it again for these guys right here. What I'm doing this because I need, um, like in Tamir's application, I need the name. So I need to access it from, from the outlets here. So it's gonna do it here, so second number. So that's where I'm gonna get my numbers at. And then I need uh, your result. I need to make a uh, connection to it. So outlet again, so uh, result uh, text field. So this is where I'm gonna present my results. So I need access to that object, which is right there. And so that's for the, uh, so call it outlets here. So that's your outlets right here. Call it outlets. So that's that. And um, first off, I just wanna. So right here, I'm just gonna import the VC expression file. Okay. Um, so go back here. Actually, um, okay. So I'm just gonna make uh, this what we call the action. So basically, when you when you you know when you tap the calculate button, this method or this function or whatever you wanna call it will be called when you do it, when you, you actually tap it. So it's the same idea. I'm just gonna drag control. I'm gonna press control on my computer. Just drag from the calculate, right, to here. And I'm just gonna go, you know, it's a type ID, doesn't matter really. So these are just settings, you know, you can just leave it like that. Uh, the event is basically touch up its side, which is basically, you know, when you tap it, boom, it calls this function. So I'm gonna call it uh, calculate result, um, just like that, I guess. Um, just calculate result, call it like that. And then here, I'm gonna make another one by myself. So I'm just copying the signature. You see, it pops out right there. I think I saw that. It's just, it helps you pretty much how to define it. So it defines a selector. So this basically, IB action is just a null value. That's it. it, doesn't really return anything. It's just a special, I guess, macro or something like that, that, you know, that you call it. So it could be called in here. So the selector is basically what, what the method is called in Objective-C. It's just, you know, whatever you call it. So I'm gonna call it here, um, uh, set operation, it's a bad pocket. Okay, that's fine. So set operation, um, and then the colon is basically what separates it, the arguments. So ID, um, well I could just, okay, so I'll, this time I guess I'll just put um, UI buttons here, because these these guys right here are UI buttons, right? 
And then again, remember, it's a pointer. We're working with pointer, so just put a star on it. And then uh, just call it sender. It doesn't matter really what you call it. You just define it on your own, but it, it, it just call it like that. So um, I don't know if you can see on the sides here, but they actually, you can see if I point here, it actually tells, oh, it's mapped into this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a special trick. I'm going to map, because I don't want to make, I don't know, four, four functions just for, you know, for each of the operations, right? I, I can do some uh, some trick here. So what I'll do is um, I'm just going to control drag from from the button, right, and map it here. So it's fine. That's map. You can you can do that several times for different uh, same you know same uh, what do you call it so same uh, same object types. I'm gonna do it as well here. I'm gonna map it. So what I'm doing is that every time you tap that, every time you tap, you're gonna say the plus button. It's basically gonna call this, and then whatever is in there is gonna get executed. Like this. Okay. So here, okay. This is basically where I'm gonna get on the uh, all the object oriented stuff, I guess. Okay, so we're just gonna go back to uh, BC View Controller. Okay, so um, might get a little bit confusing because it's more about in syntax. Okay, so um, UI button, right? So here for set operation, um, actually, you, we should actually initialize the object first. Uh, remember, I actually imported here BC expression to have access to all the stuff here, so I can even create that object. So that model, right? So if I go view dead load, so view dead load is basically after you load all the UIs, what do you want to do after that? So basically, in this case, I'll just do, um, here, I'm just going to add another one right here, uh, the expression. So current expression is going to be same thing uh, because I don't want the world to see it, so I'm just going to put it here on this side. Uh, Non-atomic, so non-atomic strong, uh, strong DC, Expression star current expression, right? So this is basically uh, an instance variable already, so you can access it from here, right? So if I go down here, this is how you initialize an object, usually. Self dot, so self meaning, you know, the instance. Self dot, uh, let's see here, okay, current expression. Uh, okay, equals, sorry, equals. So these right here, the square brackets, basically that's when it calling function. So basically you know how we like, you know, you do in C like, you know, function one, and then you're gonna call, and you're passing the arguments and all that, right? That's how you do it. That's how you typically do it. Here, you, we use uh, square brackets to call them. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, BC uh, expression. Because since it's an inner, inherit, uh, what do you call this? Uh, inherits from NS object, it has this um, method called alloc, basically just makes, you know, allocate space for this, um, Object, that's it. Okay, and then in it is just pre-made again. It's from the um, from the NS object, which we I said earlier just bars from it. So it has all that. So I don't need to declare that. You know, just for inheritance. That's how it goes for object-oriented programming. So it makes it okay. So after that, um, so it, it's initialized already. So when I load the app, it just makes it. That's it. Doesn't do anything that much, but it's gonna it's gonna be helpful for here, right? So set operation when you click. So when I go back here, when I click this, I have an access to it, right? Right here on set operation because this is the argument sender. So I can call it whatever, you know, button or whatever like that. So here, um, I'm gonna go self dot current expression, right? Remember, uh, remember BC expression has an uh, instance variable called um, op uh, operation, right? Operation. So it's an NS string. What I'll do is um, I'll get, uh, so basically you can do a dot notation here. So dot expression, I could have also written that as uh, self dot current expression uh, get operate, or actually rather um, set operation. I can call it set operation, I believe correctly. But actually you prefer, you can do either way, but I just prefer the dot notation so it's you know more consistent. So that's that. So this is an n string type. So basically it's just a string, you know, okay. So I'm going to go to the uh, self. Remember, these are instance variables as well. So I can just go self dot uh, first number. Uh, right, uh, sorry, uh, where is it? Okay, the button. Okay, so sender. We know that it's a button already, right? So sender. Um, I'm going to call a method to it, a function uh, called, I believe it's a text title label, I believe. Or actually, okay, I'm going to go like this. Sender. There's a property, or what we call the instance variable, again, uh, called uh, title label. It's a UI label. Again, it's an object, but it doesn't give me the text. 
because what I want to do is extract the, the plus or like the minus or the times or the multiply, right? That's what I'm trying to do. It's just very simple, right? So title label dot text, right? So then a string, so it's compatible. That's it. That's what I do for that, okay? And calculate result, okay? So that's when I call actually sub dot current expression. So that's the BC expression. Remember, I define a method on the model called cal calculate expression. So, you know, I just want to refresh your minds right here. Calculate expression. I didn't define it yet, but it's just right there, you know. You can call it. You know, just make it, make it ready. So, uh, uh, calculate expression. So I'm going to call it here. There are no arguments, so that's fine. So I don't need to go, like, colon, whatever, and all that, okay? So I'm just calling a function on uh, on this instance because it's an instance uh, variable, right? So I can just make a call basically on that. And um, also, okay, here. I actually want to set the... Um, the first and the second numbers before I actually start calculating. I can just do it right here, it doesn't matter where, but um, assuming that the person typed already some number on the text fields for the first and second number, I can just take it, uh, take it from here, right? So first number, text field, right above here, I'm just making it right there, um, equals, uh, or actually, uh, self dot, sorry, self dot current expression, because I want to place the first number and the second number, right? Uh, current expression, that first number, NS integer, right? So I'm gonna go, uh, First number, sorry, uh, first number, oh, okay. Okay, dot text field, uh, dot text. Uh, yeah, dot text, so basically it's an n string, right? But it's not compatible with integer, uh, with an in, in, is integer, obviously. Doesn't make sense, right? So what I'll do is I'll call integer value. Because these are just basically methods being called, but it's just more organized. That's it. It's just more organization. And the integer value would give you an NS integer. I don't know if you guys saw that. They give you hints a lot on this. So, you know, you can see whatever type it is. So you can see NS integer right here, right? So this is just a method that bring it, brings it back to an NS, uh, NS integer. So right here. And I'll just do the same thing for the second one. Second number. Uh, second number. Okay, uh, so those are the two numbers, and then I'm gonna calculate the expression. So now, um, how do I, I'm only gonna calculate the expression, right? So we're just gonna go back here. Uh, oops. This is the model, we're back to the model again. So we know that we have the operation as n string, uh, we have the two integers right here. So we're just gonna do like a basic if statement here. So if, um, if self, again, self dot first, uh, sorry, uh, operation, uh, remember, this is an NS string right here. Again, I'm just calling methods. This is just an NS string. So I can apply any uh, NS string methods that I, that I make call here. So you see, is equal to string. Um, I'm just going to make sure I use that. Because it's an NS string, I just want to compare it with plus, with minus, with times multiple, uh, divide, right? That's pretty much what I want to do. So I'm going to do, how you make constant string is basically not this, not like this, because it's going to be like, you know, a character array or something, right? That's not how you make it. So if I'm going to do plus, it's not like that. You see, it's making a, uh, a problem here, right here. So I'm going to put an at sign. That's important. That's a constant uh, string literal in objective C. That's how you make it. So um, if it's, okay, sorry, problem. Okay, there you go. So if I, if I, if the operation is plus, then it means what I will, what I will want to do is actually return the value. So actually, Lied. Um, I'm gonna make this return NS integer. Sorry. Okay. Being confused here. Um, okay. So NS integer. Okay. There you go. So I'll just return um, self dot first number, right? First number plus then uh, self dot second number. I mean, I mean, you get the idea, right? I'm just gonna do else if you just start copying stuff here. So self dot operation. And then um, minus. Um, yeah, and then again, same thing. I'm just gonna should actually copy these inside that piece. So right here, start so minus okay, and then else if um, self dot operation. Hmm. Uh, sides. Okay, then I'm just gonna copy that. Uh, just do up times here. And else if the operation is equal to string, and then we're gonna do a divide. I just divide right here, you remember? I don't know if you guys remember in C. If you divide like, you know, one divided by two, it would not work. It would not see because again, right now, 
it's NS integer, so it cuts off the 0.5, so 0 0.5 cuts off the 0.5, that's how it works, right? So you guys remember that, that's how it works in here. So if I do one divided by two, it, it would just show zero instead of 0 0.5. But you can make that change based on the type here. So uh, return self dot first number right here, uh, divided by self dot second number. Then else just return zero, doesn't matter if you know what the hope. Turn zero. Okay, so that's it. I'm just basically uh, returning values here. Zero. Okay, so that's that. So that's the logic. So basically, it's an NS string. I'm just going to compare it with plus, minus, and all that. And then we just calculate based on the first and second numbers, provided they are legal, right? Which I think they are, because I changed the num number pad, right? Tap in numbers only. So we have this already. So now the only the only thing that we have uh, going left is the um, actually showing the number. So when I do three plus four, you know, I need to see seven. Okay? So um, I have this um, what do you call this? The result text field right here. So okay, so self that result text field. It's gonna give me this value, right? Um, you know what? You'll see a lot of stuff going on right now. So oh crap. Okay, so self dot um, result text field. Why is it giving me the sign? Okay, I don't want that. Uh, result text field. So basically, that's a that's. A, okay, so this one right here, is just result text field, right? So I'm gonna go here. Um, I'm gonna go dot text. So basically, I'll okay. Give me the the so set set the string to the value, right? The result, right? So. What I'll do is um, I'm gonna go so ns string. This is one of the class methods right here. So ns string it usually goes ns array. So you want to make an array, ns array array with whatever it is. You're gonna see it later on. So for now, this is what this is another way to initialize an object. So you see, there's a lot of bunch of these. So string with uh, format. So I don't know if you guys did format strings in C. It's just pretty much the same thing here. So um, here, basically, it's asking me uh, what uh, what do you want me to print out, like in which way, right? So I'm gonna go print out. So um, that's how we make again constant string, right? So result uh, result space percent d again, just you know specification for what is a you know, integer, right? So that's that's d right there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go um, you know that method I called before. I'm just gonna paste it right here. I can do that. I can just um, nest uh, uh, method calls right here. So sub dot current expression calculate expression will give me an immense integer whatever the numbers are and the operation is, right? So um, it's pretty much it. That's that's for, um, I, I believe that's it. That's, that's pretty much it. So we showed the value. We had the model, as you can see. Uh, I'm just going to bring out this uh, navigator right here. So we have the model right here. I'm going to make sure I save these, okay? So we have the storyboard, the view, right? This is the view. We have the view, con view controller with the controller. And then we have the uh, the model right here, which is the expression. So all the calculations are in here. I hope this one okay. I was trying this in the morning, making a backup and all that. So it's like I was fixing and get messed up. So I think it's gonna be Okay. Okay, well, on one only thing that I didn't do here is that when you actually press this, it's gonna bring up the, uh, the, the number pad, right? It, it's not gonna, uh, what do you call this? It's not gonna hide it after I press something here. So that's another improvement that I'll probably, uh, I guess, ship out with the uh, slides and the, um, with, the, with the app itself. So it's gonna have that improvement, okay? So if I type in three, and just press plus, and then five, I hope it works. Result eight, right? If I do, again, I'm telling you, uh, one divided by two. One, two, zero, right? But it's zero point five. So just basically, you know, I'm mean, well. It's kind of I dig fast. There's a lot of concepts here, but you'll get used to it when you actually start, you know, learning by yourself. That's actually the goal. You, you know, if you come here, you know, with your, you know, with your skills as well as you try to learn with us, then pretty much you can, you know, you can get into it. So that's pretty much your basic idea here. Okay, it's a lot of stuff here. You know, you'll need to know, you know, from the language. Just one of the things, the language. And VC, you know, if, if you're, um, you know, if you're not sure about that, you could ask Tamir about it. Um, you know, you could look up more information and, and as well as the environment itself when you use it. So that's pretty much it for this. Okay, have a good night, guys. Have any questions, guys? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. 
you can have some C, you can have separate file, you can write some C code there. Mm -hmm. But why, why you should do this? So actually, they prefer Objective C for some reason. I don't know why, yeah. but you no, know. Objective C, like it has, mm -hmm. you talk in detail about Objective C next time, but it has like many features over mm -hmm. C. And for for getting the environment, for if you don't have a Mac, it is still possible to get it in virtual machine. Mm -hmm. So if you ever like tried virtual box or any virtual machine, it's not straightforward. Like you need to, to know some. It's not straightforward to get it installed in virtual machine, but it's possible. Like I don't have Mac and they have it in virtual machine. This guy's running So like, Mac. if you need Why if no? you need help, I don't know PC or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you need help in installing it on a PC, just send me an email. In this iOS, at whatever you need. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys. Thank you. Sorry. My mission. Sure. Yeah. Francis. Uh, is, actually, uh, is it actually like? Possible to get the code for this? Like, oh yeah, because source I, code for this? yeah, because it actually uh, what it calls. Just keep it for a second. Yeah. Uh, did it stop it? Oh, yeah, maybe I think it stopped already. Um, let me just see here. Okay. Okay, I hope it's safe already. Um. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm just gonna put in like this. Yeah, I have a Mac, 